As you can see by the title of this video, Age is on my mind. Why? I just recently watched a Rick Drayson video, and I love Rick Drayson. He had an attorney on there who was a former bodybuilder who made the statement that after the age of 60, you cannot train your arms twice a week and recover. And that is nonsense, okay? Now, if you're training properly, you're eating properly, you're getting enough rest, and you're supplementing with anti-catabolic supplements, you can recover, okay? I train with the same intensity and the same amount of weight that I did 25, 35 years ago, and that's how I do it. There's an aversion to age in this country, okay? I think it's more of a, a mental thing than a physical thing. Now, I know there are people out there that are injured, people that have disease, but for the person that doesn't have those problems, I think our society has taught us that we have to slow down after a specific age, and that is nonsense. Now, I had a grandfather that was 99. He was in sales. I had an uncle that was 101. He was a um, president of a bank, and these guys led productive lives until the end of their lives, okay? So, now I want to take a look at one specific individual who uh, inspired me, and that was Jack LaLanne. Let's take a look at some of the things that he did after the age of 60. Not everybody treats age as, as most people do. Some of us have, uh, have that attitude that we're not going to quit. We're not going to uh, go quietly into the night. And one gentleman that I always uh, admired was Jack LaLanne. Now, let me tell you what Jack LaLanne did when he was 60 years old. He swam from Alcatraz Penitentiary, which is an island off of San Francisco, to Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco. He was handcuffed and shackled, towing a 1,000-pound boat. Now, when he was 61 years old, he swam the length of the Golden Gate Bridge underwater, handcuffed and shackled, towing a 1,000-pound boat. Now, at age 62, he swam one mile in Long Beach Harbor, handcuffed and shackled, carrying 13 boats that were carrying 76 people. Now, at age 65, he towed 65 boats filled with wood pulp in Lake Ashinako, near Tokyo, Japan. He was handcuffed and shackled. At age 66, he towed 10 boats carrying 77 people over one mile in less than one hour near North Miami, Florida. Now he turns age 70. What does he do? Again, handcuffed and shackled, he towed 70 boats containing several people one mile from Queensway Bridge in Long Beach Harbor to the Queen Mary Ocean Liner. So, you know, we're talking about people that are 60 years old and saying that they can't train their arms twice a week because you can't recover. How ridiculous is that? So I need to think uh, that uh, most people in this country need to rethink age, okay? It's more of a, a mental issue, I think, than a physical issue. There are some people that are, that are ill. I realize that, and uh, they've had mishaps. But overall, there's this mental block in this country, America, with regard to age. And uh, I hope this video opens people's eyes to what can be accomplished. It's much easier if you've been physical all your life like I have. But uh, I don't care how long you haven't been training. Get into a training program, and it may be a very light training program, but you're going to benefit from it. You're going to feel better. You're going to look better. You're going to have more energy. Okay? I'm not saying it's going to make you live any longer, but you're going to have a better quality of life. Never, never.